Memes! The memes! Oh, that's right, I never did get to kill Adam. No, you didn't. Because the Still bomb, kicking. the bomb that I put in your closet. I don't remember I don't if that have a ever revealed or not. I don't have a closet, I came out of it years no, ago. No, you put it, it into, uh, uh, Nell's character's closet. Oh, right, right, because I wasn't trying no. to kill Adam, that's right, I was trying to kill her sire. <laughs> My sire? Oh. Oh, her sire. Oh. oh wait. Who or sire sire. You were trying oh. to kill Monty. Yeah, Monty. Oh, yeah. I mean That's why I put it in a box that was yeah. decorated, highly decorated, and had like pictures of shark him riding sharks and everything. And, <laughs> and then even wrote want... don't open till Christmas or something because I knew he wouldn't <laughs> be able to resist. Don't we all want to kill them? Yeah. I I'm kinda <laughs> sad we didn't get to pop it because it would have been like a fun anti climax slash also more dramatic than that. Uh, I think I actually told Nell what was in the box. Oh, uh, but since the campaign that? is over, I could go ahead and say what it was, I suppose. Box. Uh, inside the box was actually reminders of Monty's past that the Order Dracul set up that would sober him up pretty darn quickly. It would lead to like him like pulling out like a locket with like a young child on it or something, and just him crying in a corner. It's like, no, I'm not going to go do adventures today. It would have been sad, dramatic, and been like a reminder of the order of I mean, knowing you owe us. My, my plan was to wait until day, go, go out during the day or with a goal because we are low blend potency, and just take him. Remember, you that I fired at him with high, like, yeah, but very if... piercing rounds, but he, <laughs> everything just bounces off my. Yeah, but. Wait, because if he's asleep, no way of defending himself. And well, again, you can't pierce his skin is the point I'm getting at. Yeah, he had ah, top rank he... resilience and used yeah, it right. frequently and then pretended to be even tougher. And yeah, but also Brazil... had the ability to be completely invulnerable for a few Also, yeah, no, you because... remember that I tried to stake him point blank too, and it didn't work. Yeah, but because he's, a lo he's awake and resilience render you invulnerable if you spend Vitae to defend yourself. No, that's the active. Right? There's, a, there's a passive. No, the passive is just giving you more health, but it doesn't matter if you stake someone. They, you don't have to kill them. They, I'm they just saying, do I don't think it, Adam would have that It would be very difficult off. to kill him. But that's the funny thing. Like You say, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to ambush Monty during the daylight. Monty was also literally planning to maybe like do a daylight ambush of, I think, Jack. Literally, like, take a put on like a giant shark suit in the middle of the day. Oh my god! And a chainsaw and just cut the car in half. But yeah, what kind of games are you guys playing? The car. <laughs> I mean, that was that car was basically a tank. Yeah, yeah, it was. A chainsaw was a would game. break it. The monkey was a tank. No, I'm like, saying a chainsaw would break itself on that thing. That like, thing was a Hummer see, turned into a tank. You yeah, see, you'll find a way. You see how in Nantes there, there is a prince, there is a bailiff, and there is some, some sort of order, at least, a little bit. Well, in Grief Game, the prince was a com just, I'm gonna look at things and let everyone kill themselves, I know. <laughs> I mean, by the end, though, he was getting pretty active after I killed his grandson? Grandson, or, yeah. yes. He just needed to be motivated. Yeah. And to be fair, most of my shenanigans took place in the sewers, so... Yep. I mean, the sewers were various, and they weren't even the prince's domain, I think. Yeah, and then when I did things, I made it look like it was like work accidents, like that, uh, yeah. like that guy that I pushed off a work site and just made it look like he oh, fell. Yeah. I was being yeah, intelligent was... about my shenanigans. When it comes yeah. to like princes, I was like thinking like, oh yeah, what would I do for like each style of thing? And I'm just thinking like. You know what? Having a prince who's like the you're not going to do anything without my authority kind of type was like not what I wanted to do. And I just wanted to like really change that up on a dynamic basis. So it's like instead, here's one that is like, yeah, you know, you're free to do what you want. Just don't burn the city, please. Also, I'm watching everything. <laughs> can you touch him? Yep. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. You sure can watch his <coughs> grandson get death kissed. Mm. Oh, yeah. In a scene that you didn't tell me that Nell was my backup. I, I did give everyone, like, the code phrases. They just didn't get used all the I time. I did use it. Well. I used it to hook up with the mercenaries. You just didn't yes, tell me. Yes, you did. And you that was good. You didn't tell me that Nell was, like, 
code phrase will turn her into your ally. <laughs> I know, it was supposed to be part secret and just didn't get found out. It's fine, though. Nell still basically worked in your favor. Building literally on fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my character survived. All right. So, I guess since everyone's here, let's go ahead and begin. The Night of Terror in Middenheim continues. Who would like to summarize what's happened so far? A night to time. <laughs> uh, and uh, Alexa got yes, terrified into her. insanity. I and Alexa like fire now. Too much. <laughs> I need a yeah. I need a, a brain surgeon to to help me with this new fascination of fire that I enjoy. <laughs> fire, good. Uh, if, if I don't burn things, I'll come down into a depressive state that'll last for d ten days. Well, then you need to burn uh, people. How long does the uh, uh, positive side of it last? I think like twenty four hours. Uh, it lasts three hours. It lasts d10 hours, and I roll. I right, see. So you gotta like keep burning like every couple of hours. Yeah, That's the fun. idea. <laughs> so yeah, Literally maybe can't tell yourself. Maybe well, we can send for a. Look, let's just be teleport. glad you're not a fire mage. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, you. Shape. All right. So last time, uh, Gustav had seen a vision in which he. Uh, saw his group assembling and uh, attacking the mob from behind and winning the day. And of course, uh, since then, uh, the group has been grouping up refugees and citizens in the city, rallying them to their cause, and will now be pushing inwards against chaos, won't they? Yes. We have to fight these monsters now. We can do it. Yes, Gustav can sense the time is right, even as a completely other part of the city burns. Eh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Sure, since when fire spread? When? Hmm? Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift over maps then. Oh, no. All right. Tell me, of course, if you guys can see the initiative. Uh, yeah. All right. Good, good. I always worry that's going to break. All right, uh, I'll give you a second to decide if you want to change up your formation, but this seems like the most sensible thing. With a small screen, the biggest heroes in the front, and the uh, ones that can operate faster from a range uh, in the back. Yep. Thanks for okay. me. Uh, let me see where my dialogue is. Here we go. With the leadership of Bruce and Gerhard, the mob stays organized and heads at last towards the midden plots. Though much of the city is dark, you can see fire and torches along the way. The barracks is on fire, and there is undoubtedly a mob past the walls. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask you guys to roll initiative, and I'm also going to ask if uh, Theta and Ark would like to go ahead and run a character here. Either Bruce or Gerhard. Oh, we're on the good guy side, huh? <laughs> yup. What do you say? Uh, what are the sheets? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit them. All players, all players. Here's Bruce. Here's Gahard. And let me go ahead and put into. All players, all players. There we go. Everyone should have access to those two. Yeah, I guess and... I'll take Bruce. Okay, all right. Gerhard. Sweet. Uh, they have enrolled initiative, so feel free to go ahead and roll for them. I know you'll find that I was a true villain all along. Oh, <laughs> no. <The> betrayal. <laughs> I will become a demon prince. No wonder he was killing everyone in his way. No, yeah, no competitors. Survivors. All right. That's Bruce, and then we just need uh, Gerhard to roll his. Early adopted, the cow. Mm -hmm. oh, well. 
<laughs> exactly. <All right. laughs> I was born to it. <laughs> and here at this uh, deep hour of the night, the uh, bright green moon is definitely illuminating everything reasonably enough, and enough people are carrying torches that there's not any problem seeing targets. Right. Uh, and just to tell you, I'm simplifying the uh, minions, quote unquote, to be a little bit easier to deal with. Sure. So I don't have to at fully do their turns. I've abstracted them slightly. Uh, each of you has command over some of them that are basically grouping up with you. If you go oh, ahead boy. and see the green numbers. Yeah. Gustav, Victor, and Falandir each have one. Meanwhile, Alexa, Gerhard, and Bruce have two. Bruce, yours are better than the other ones. <laughs> they hit harder, have a little bit of armor, uh, and generally have better training. But some of them are already preemptively injured. Those are the ones directly behind you. So mine Meanwhile, are the, the ones... ones are in front of you. You said mine are the that? ones? Yes, you are number one. Okay. <laughs> Well, I just mean that my two are the two citizens, number number one. Correct. All right. Um, and I will go ahead and move them adjacent to you. They will follow your orders, basically. And also act on your initiative, more or less. All right. Bane voice. You merely banned the mutants, say. I was born to it. Molded by it. I have a horrible vein impression. All you gotta do is, like, cup your hand in front of your face, and then try to be British. Try to be British, you say? I was born to... Blueberries are full of fiber, Batman. I was born and it's molded by it. I, I, this is my favorite joke of all time, is it? Oh gosh, yeah. A little record, and it <laughs> never gets old. Never. Right, so, Bruce is the top of the initiative. Uh, what do you want to do, Bruce? Wow, that's a long way to go. It, it rather is. And I should go ahead and point out that each square is actually four meters here. There are no squares. But you will be moving according to your movement rating. So that's you what I'm saying. Move. I can move... What, 20? I can move this far? <laughs> Yeah, as one action, you could move like 16, and then like 16 again, and well, get no, like... my charge is 10. It runs 15, so I can get to... Oh, Ooh, okay. Here. Yeah, maybe you're faster than a normal person. There we go. Alright, and what would you like your citizens to do? Just literally charge in the same formation? What is their move? Yeah, there you go. Uh, they are going to basically keep up with you here. So if you want them in the same formation, they will be adjacent to you. All right, here. that's it. All right, cool. So uh, Bruce charges ahead of everyone else. The bailiff has his town guards uh, defending elsewhere. Let's see. So they are doing nine, and this is versus five. Uh, do, do, do nine minus five, so four damage. This guy's gonna take eight. And this guy's going to take four. There we go. You hear the sounds of battle elsewhere, as the mob is undoubtedly fighting guardsmen. Get hard. All right, I have a run of 12, so I uh, run 12 meters. Uh, 12 times four in this case. Is it times and it four? Would be that times two. Meters. Uh, this map is one square is equal to four meters. Well, then I moved half of my run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and move further if you want, then. Just to make sure... Has sight. Okay, cool. Alright, and... Uh, just move the refugees with him, the number threes. Alright, they will stay in your formation, then. Three. As Gerhard charges with Bruce, keeping up the front line. Alexa. Okay, I'm going to uh, word here. 
of the uh, villagers flank my side, so that way we get an overwhelming bonus and then move up. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and change formation. Where are you going to move up to? You have a far way to move. Okay. Boop, boop. And boop, boop. Because I am wearing heavier armor now. But yes, each side of me will have a, a villager, and I'll say something rousing like, it's time to put the chaos back into the ground where they belong. For yeah, time! For glory! City. Yeah! All right. It's time for the horrors. Uh, they are somewhere on the map doing things, but they aren't going to do a lot of rolling right now because of other things. They are going to go ahead and give their orders. Gustav. Uh, well, everyone will go ahead, then move a bit. Uh, are we on square? Are we square? Where are we? Uh, we're on meters, so take your movement and multiply right. it by four. Oof. Four, four times my movement. Yeah, your mm. movement rating times four in meters, and that would get you the same distance. So this is so that everyone can have the ability to right. actually move around the map, but ranges are slightly restricted. So sixteen, right? Uh, yep, that'd be correct for one move. Oops. <clears throat> Yeah. Eh. Right. And your dudes will go ahead and continue following you. Oh, uh, wait. Protecting you. I might do something. Ooh. I don't know. Don't tell me I have yards for my spell. Or square. Uh, they will be smaller. You are thinking of uh, Wind Blast, aren't you? I mean... I mean... I mean, what else could it be? I mean, yeah. Uh, hey, take a look, it's Wind Blast. It would be about wait. this big. I'm gonna go uh, ahead it's and about... move it to the back. Ooh, well, yeah, but can I do that? I that... sure as hell can. Ooh, it actually goes far enough. 42, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's 43. Yeah, I so. 43. There you go. Wind blast. So you could, in fact, get the uh, people directly in front of the front line. Wind blast. And fuck! Oh my fucking god! Two, two minor, minor chaos. Ooh. Oh dear. Poop yourself, poop yourself, poop yourself. No, I kept all my milk in my pocket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my pocket milk, no. Oops. Nope that, and all plant life dies. <laughs> this is one wound, period. Yeah. Uh, that's within ten? Hmm? Yeah, 10 yards. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah. Uh, no more around. grass. Boo. I see... <laughs> let, me, let me get some brown here. Alright, yeah, we're gonna... There we go. There's now some brown on the other side. All right. Well, that wasn't as impressive as it could be, but it's still very funny. Uh, these people. Oh wait, up... sorry. Need to roll for Arkham Mark. Oh, that reminds me, I should actually no. open up a whole bunch of sheets here. And no, nope. That's the horror. Here's the wizards. Here's uh, the mutant and the mutant. Okay. Uh, oh, and you were rolling to see if other bad stuff happened. Okay. Yep. Uh, so they need to make a toughness check and see how they do. So the scaled ones, roll toughness. <sighs> Ooh, they are doing real well, but they are still knocked down. Uh, so uh, I believe we're going to go with... Uh... There we go. Fallen guy. Meanwhile, the wide guys... Roll and also yeah. fall over, but nobody is stunned. Indeed, the whole mob just 
flops over as you just send a blast of wind in their direction and continue to barrage it. Uh, that is two half actions, so I believe that is the end then, isn't it? The end. All right. So scaled are so gonna go. This guy is going to try to get up and see if he can move, which he cannot. So his group is going to end up standing over here, not doing much. Uh, do, do, do these guys have ordinary movement? So it is going to try uh, rushing in. Moves here, and then it tries to move up to. Here, kind of like around the side, wiggling in. There we go. There's one guy right here. This guy will move... 16, 32. He's going to end up like around here. This guy is going to charge in and attack Bruce. Uh, so let's see, he is a scaled individual. Scales, fur, and nasty things, and a third eye. Uh, Bruce, you don't even have to dodge. The mob comes and descends upon you, but you know how to defend yourself. Then, this one comes to clog up the gap, and this one also clogs up the gap. Uh, and these guys will fight back minion to minion, dealing... To do do fights rage in the distance. Uh, this one is gonna go ahead, go here, here. Cool. And now the other mutants. This one in the wind blast is going to attempt to get up. And where is he? Can he do it? No, he is stuck right where he is. But he is at least in range of the citizens in front of him. Uh, so, they are going to go ahead and take a 9 damage hit, reduced by 4 because of their armor. Uh, and these guys will continue to try to wiggle in. There's Quite a clog going on here. And these guys are still going to do three the damage thunder. hits. Call out the thunder. No, nine damage hits. And power mines. Oh, God. Or... Yeah, I kind of like gave... I decided I would be giving all the minions averages against other minions. All right, more fights happening the distance. Falandir. Uh, we'll do what elves do, and... Uh... Try to rush up to help. I'm here, everybody. That's not what elves do. I'm here to androgynously help you. <laughs> uh, Tell. Purple hand. Do the wizards have a spell to help their uh, allies here? That is my question. Or themselves. <sighs> hmm. Oh, yeah. They totally do. So I'm going to have them uh, cast as a collective this spell. They're going to channel. I'm just going to give it to them. Oh, no, I'll have them roll channel first. I'm also rolling them all as a group. So I don't have to roll this four times. Do, do, do spell book two, channeling. Now submit, ingredient. Amulet, yes. A success. They all Ooh. give themselves an additional 10 toughness. Oh no. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a uh, a red one. Well, this spell is a powerful thing. So. Indeed it is. 
But of course, uh, only Gustav necessarily feels the magic uh, around them and mm. notices that there are at least yeah. a few wizards out on the field. Then Gustav has to choose not to cast a spell, but instead cast Dispel and nothing else. Yeah. So, not very powerful when you consider what your arsenal is. Sorry. I mean, Bruce, that... I can battle. I guess I could shoot in two time with, yeah, Rainbow. Bolt. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it all out and, uh... Or the one that lets me attack twice, because I have two attack thing. Uh, unscaled guy. Uh, indeed. Uh, you can go ahead and attack things that are adjacent or adjacent to your, uh, cohorts. All right, you definitely hit that mutant in the body. He has nothing to defend with, so we are doing damage with 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. That is a solid punch as you knock man after man down. I'll give your fists. Uh, you are attacking the one directly north, you said, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, so you do have that second attack. Unfortunately, coming to a miss. Um, hold up, though. You do have two friends here, though, don't you? Or at least Dude. one that is not engaged with anything else. That'd still be a miss. So that would still yeah. be that would be an eighty. Yeah, you'd be five, five down, wouldn't you? That is unfortunate. Uh, so Bruce does his best, kung fuing his way uh, through the crowd and keeping them at bay for just a moment. Bailiff's forces attack. Uh, there is five armor and nine attacks, so there's going to be four damage. The sky actually goes down. Uh, to do. Yeah, they're just doing 9, so minus 3. So it takes more damage. Aha! And that is all that the guards are up to. The fighting continues inside the midden plots. Gahard, you're face to face with mutants. Yes, and this one's gonna get a stun strike. I don't have any pummeling weapons, so I'm just gonna do it with my sword. Oh, I went ahead and, uh,. Forgot to do the minions that are attached to Bruce. You'll just give me one second for that, but go ahead and uh, do your attack. Okay. Uh, they do eight damage. Minus five. And you do eight damage. All right, so you go ahead and uh, strike one of them with your sword, Gerhard. Go ahead and give me damage. They do not defend. I was just looking up the uh, strike the stun rules, because that's what I was doing. Oh, okay. Um, I forget how they go, and I have to keep reminding myself every time. Uh, but while you are doing that... Uh, your group will go ahead and defend against this guy right here. So they are going to do a 7 damage hit, minus 3. So 4 damage up ahead. Uh, strike to stun, strike to stun. Okay, we have to make a strength test, each of us. Okay, then. And you are attacking one of the uh, skilled guys, so they are going to roll strength. Ah, they got 14. And I didn't. All right, so uh, I think that's fair to say that it does not work, then. My two refugees will attack the same guy. So okay. I forgot my uh, overwhelming bonus, my uh, outnumbering, whatever, but... Uh, yeah, that's Those fine. Uh, the minions will go ahead and do their automatic hits here. So the ones around you do 7 damage, mitigated by 5 armor. So the, uh, the scaled ones are a lot harder to hurt with just the clubs that the citizens have. Okay, uh, and with Gerhard's attack out of the way, that leads to Alexa. Charge that scaled mutant. 
Yes, charge! Now the winged hussars arrived! Coming down, they turn the tide! Alright, one is gonna be behind you at the moment. Or, uh, we'll try to get here and here to protect Bruce and form a little line. Uh, uh, that is a no. hit for five damage. Oof. Damn. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that hit will strike against their scale in fur and bounce directly off. It does not even penetrate them. It is oh. like they are wearing armor. Uh, meanwhile, Fortune your peasants... Fortune points to roll against. Oh, you're going to try rolling it again? Oh, I don't have any fortune points left. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, All no. right, well, your uh, unit will go ahead and congregate into the gap and protect Bruce and attack your target as well. They will each do two damage to the one in front of them. Let's go we get them, boys. Pushing against the crowd as you work on uh, your angle. Call me Euclid, because I got all the angles covered. The horror. Uh, let's see, how far can they move? Do they have any better or worse movement? No. This one's going to move like uh, 16 here. This one's going to move 16 here. Let's see, let's see. Can they hit people? Oh boy, they sure can. So they're instead going to target the crowds first and foremost. So their spells... Uh, do, do, do. They have two magic to pull this off. They don't need a channel, they don't need to use ingredients. Hey, there we go. Uh, anyone hit for eight damage. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off that and a second one. Channel ingredient, no. Oof. There we go. They pull it off twice for an eight and a seven hit against two targets. Uh, and we're going to make it one of these. So 8 minus uh, 3 is 5 damage, as a bolt of pink energy comes across the field from behind the wall. And another one for a little less. Uh, Gerhard, your units are the ones that have been uh, attacked by this. Uh, many of them have gone down under magical fire. Gustav. I have to check some. Isn't Sensuous Fire a cone? Uh, no. These indicate magic missiles that hit a target. And did they make their uh, willpower test, or are they dead? Oh, it's no, stone. they're alive, so I probably do need to make a willpower test with, uh, with these units. Well... Uh, did I cast my... My fortune spell before battle, I completely forgot. Um, I'll allow it. Because I did try to, like, just push straight into the fight. Alright. And you do keep uh, doing that quite often anyway. I mean, why should I not? Am I right? Exactly. Uh, well, I'm gonna reroll... Yeah, I'm gonna reroll them. With one of them. You got a snail, and you got a snail. Nice! And minor chaos. <laughs> well, <laughs> no plans. Um, I mean, I'm. Can I have another like it's same area as Windblast? Ew. Uh, okay. Uh, but I just want. Give me a second I, there. Yeah, I don't want to put it right where Windblast is. Just uh, having some fun coloring in real quick. All right, so I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste. So here is a wind blast. No, it's a uh, lightning storm. Right. Well, I mean, we're still using the circle for measuring. Yeah. Uh, Lupian! No. Thunderstruck! All right. Uh, I think yeah, you get three of those, but not four. Yeah, three only. So let's hit this three, yeah. All right, so the three frontmost. So I'm going to go ahead Seven. and take this... Uh, extra one, I'm just going to move it back here with uh, Victor for yep. now, then. Uh, so let's see. They each take a seven-point hit. Yep. To the leg. Left leg. 
All right, so seven minus three is going to be. Four. Oh my god, it's almost worst roll I could have done. It's a very mild lightning storm, you see. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I need to give them back two points. Whoops, because that one has more armor. There we go. All right, so lightning strikes down upon the front line, sending bodies flying. But more of the ones that seem wide and muscular than the ones that have uh, the scaled uh, mm. mutation. Yeah. Uh, that was a full action, wasn't it? Yes, it was. All right. So scale mutant time. Mutants rise. Uh, let's see. So this one is going to go ahead and give a roll and see if he can go ahead and move. The scaled mutant stuck in the wind blast is uh, continuing to try to fight it, but doesn't manage to make any headway. Uh, this guy over here is going to go ahead and take a strike at some of the refugees of Gerhards while they're stunned. So he's going to do an 8 damage hit and uh, subtract 3 off of that, so that is 5. The unit in front of Gerhard is looking terribly thin now as their ranks are cut down. Uh, this guy is can trying to wiggle around that wind blast. Best of his ability. Yes, go closer to each These other. These guys yes. are up against Alexa and the refugees. So, one of them is going to strike the refugees. Uh, and if I take a look at this number, they are doing 8 damage. The refugees absorb 3. So they take a substantial hit as they continue to clash. And Alexa, you are going to go ahead and uh, get hit. Oh, I will defend that with my shield. I will, I will. Uh, <laughs> indeed so. Hold your shield up against the horde of rampaging mutants. Ah! And indeed you do, and you manage to back up with the help of your friends to form a defensive line and keep them away. Uh, and this guy is just going to kind of crowd up around here. Next are all the other ones. Uh, let's go ahead and do the one that is actually stuck in the Wind Blast first. Uh, he does not actually have to move. Because he's already adjacent to things, so he's not even going to make the strength check. He can go ahead and do a 9 point hit, but he's in the wind blast, so I'm going to subtract a damage because they do auto hits. So 9 minus 4 is 5, and plus additional 1 would be 4. Alright, Bruce's line, well defending, continues to take hit after hit. Uh, let's see. This guy down here is going to go ahead and strike this. And one of the groups of refugees will go down while still stunned. Okay, hard. The people you've want worked with and uh, tried to save are now dying. Let's see. A lot of other people are all kind of stuck back here. They're just kind of all crowding around. So they're actually going to spread out just a little bit. Uh, and... Oh yeah, these guys up here get to strike. So, the sounds of battle occur elsewhere as one of these mutants uh, takes an 8-point hit against 5 armor. Minus 3. 9. Minus 5 is minus 4. And minus four. Oof. The sounds of guardsmen crying and dying. No. Alright. Blondir is in the background. You go get him, everyone. <laughs> he, he honestly does not have very much purchase here. And you know what I forgot? Victor. And refugees. I mean... They well, they, win, they, so. they all act on uh, everyone else's initiative. Ah, all right. There we go. Victor, I'm so sorry. Why did, why did I forget you? You're, you're God's <laughs> favorite halfling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, he's actually at the top, so I'll give him some shots later, but he's not firing directly into the crowd yet. Uh, we were on Philandir's turn. And yeah, Philandir is uh, a little hard-pressed to get anything done in this melee right now. So he is going to send his refugees up to replace the dead ones. And they are going to go ahead and strike down at the uh, heavy set, powerful ones. They are going to do 7 damage and subtract a good bit of it. There we go. Uh, so they engage for Gerhard, replacing the losses. Blondier will uh, just kind of wiggle over here. Okay. He will participate later. Purple Hand. Do they have any cool spells? It's more magic going to happen here. Ooh, yeah, that's really cool. There's no way they're pulling that off, or that, or that. Way! Oh, no, nothing. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. just seeing, like, okay, what what can they pull off here? And the answer is, uh, with two magic... Way, what? mister! What? One of your of Cinch indu uh, induce a chaos manifestation. They rolled 2-4. Oh, did they? Yes. Or, oh, oh was that one of the uh, demons? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, just to make sure, yeah. Three nine. We four, must four. kill the milk and the grass. All right. Uh, it pops into confetti. What? Yes. Whoa. Whoa. That is, yep, that's what happens with these ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the hit still went through, but through yeah. another one. All right. Oh. Uh, the purple hand is going to actually go ahead and just sort of uh, take steps and move in, I think. Okay, so they're going to maneuver so that they have a better angle on things. Uh, oh, they're actually at the end, so now it comes the victor. To the victor comes the spoils. Uh, he's going to go ahead and move up with you. And his group is going to go ahead and fire into the crowd. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, right. I already gave him uh, automatic damage. That's right. So he's going to go ahead and deal 8 into the crowd. And so... He's going to go ahead and take out this one in the Wind Blast. And his uh, slinging friends are... Well, no, his refugee friends are going to go ahead and uh, continue protecting them. They don't have weapons, that's right. But his small contingent does. So a hail of stones comes flying across the way and strikes down part of the crowd. Everybody must get stoned. <laughs> Sorry, that All was right. Bob Dylan there for a second. And now it's up to Bruce. Don't bring me down, Bruce! There's their heavy winds blocking one direction and a bottleneck in another. Oh, are we still there, Thea? Can't hear you oh, there. No, I'm sorry, I forgot I was Bruce. <laughs> That's fair. Um. I'll move to there. Now I'm done. Uh, okay. I'm going to say that is uh, just enough space that you can definitely walk around the wind blast. Um, uh, you still probably have another half action for moving just that far. All right. Give him uh, a punch. Give him a punch in the face. All right. Who are you going to punch? There was only one guy there. Um, uh, there's the guy two, not there's in the wind blast. behind you here and one here. Doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Bruce dives into the fray. Uh, his units will go ahead and try to uh, form up on him. Moving up here to engage, and moving up here to engage. They're going to deal 8 damage. 
Uh, minus 3 is going to be 5 to this unit. And 8 damage, minus 5. It's going to be 3 to this one. All right. Roos, you charge into the fray. Bailiff, somewhere deep inside, uh, is going to swing 9 damage hits. Uh, that is going to be enough to take this guy out. Uh, and this guy is going to also go down. There we go. The guards do what the guards do. Actually, go ahead and move you to front. There you go. You can stand with corpses and also do another hit. There we go. All right, Alexa. Okay. <clears throat> Since I have... I outnumber that mutant three to one, so yay! I'm attacking it. Woo! 30, yay! Take that! Oof, that is a definite hit. On! <laughs> ah! When you try That's all so I can hard. do. Well, you do have far. two friends here, and uh, who can both go ahead and contribute? They'll do Bam. seven damage hits. Uh, so they will do two damage each to the group that you are engaging with. Slowly whittling him down via mass combat. As both sides continue to take heavy losses. Um... One of your groups is about uh, half through, just so you know. Okay. All right. Get hard. One of one group of your men is down, and the other one is recovering on this turn from being stunned. Yes. So let us um, do a swift attack on this poor unfortunate right there. All right. Give me a hit. Uh, does he actually have two attacks or just one? He has two. Oh, goody, goody. And that's a plus um, 20 because I have two friends? Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Okay, well, that one sucked. Let's try again. There right. you go. Sizable hit as Gerhard works his way through the crowd. Uh, he has a strike. Let me check what he has here for his strike mighty blows. So that should be one higher damage. You didn't add it to the uh, sheet, I don't think. Uh, did I or didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I did. All right, so that'll be uh, all right. So that's a slightly bigger hit. So with one extra damage, you go ahead and end up dealing a whole two. They are tough individuals and hard to slice through with your weapon. But you do right. take a few heads and continue to press through uh, as your remaining men try to recover. Horror's turn. Let's see, let's see, because they are going to have some fun here. Uh, there are three of them. So they are going to go ahead and cast a spell. Two. No channeling, no ingredients. They're also just going to fail. They tried. They tried. And they're just going to go ahead and uh, move in. Doop. Come on, confetti. Confetti. Come no, no, they already failed. I don't think they can cast twice anyway. No. So, yeah. And that guy's just going to stay there. So, Gustav, it is your turn, then. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to hit this, those three with... Uh, well, I'm going to try with Lightning Storm, Storm again. Uh, all right, let's give it a go, then. Or... No channeling, nothing. Uh, and this one down here is now at And I'm going to re-roll it. Last time, before I need to cast again. Yeah, before you need to refresh. Oof. 
Ooh. And it comes down to an Aldrich's Fury as well. Uh, 17. Guys. 17 damage is definitely going to be enough to uh, utterly annihilate some of these. This guy had 11 to resist that. Uh, let's move this out of the way again. Yeah, sorry. This guy had 7 to resist. This guy has 16 to resist. He, One of the groups almost makes it. Well, oh, all right. Almost. Almost. Uh, but that just leaves this little group here, and these groups on the periphery. All right. Hey, dude. Oh, you rolled lightning bolt there. Whoops. You also didn't roll enough for the casting test. Whoops. Never mind. All right, backtracking that. Everyone is alive, and you just kind of see like a crack of thunder, but nothing more. Whoops. You thought you saw another reality, but you were wrong. But where's my visions? That's neat. I like. <laughs> All right, uh, so the mutants turn. Uh, a couple of them are going to go ahead and spread out. Wiggle in like this. There we go. So one of them is going to go ahead and attack uh, some of your refugees, Alexa. They're going to deal oh. eight damage hit, resisted by three. Oh, shit. Your foremost unit is, uh, Taking heavy damage. Uh, but these two units are going to go ahead and try swarming in on you. Uh, so with the first one. They are going to be going all out because there's no reason that they shouldn't. Oh wait, this is the wrong sheet. I need the scaled ones, not the wide ones. Oh. Modifier 20. As a miss, and the second one, who will have a friendship bonus, gets a chance to hit you. Do you defend them? Can I you hold defend the line? with my shield. Aha! You hold the line. All right. This guy, Ooh, all the way down here, pass. has access to one of the refugees. He's going to go ahead and do 8 damage minus 3, so 5 damage to Philandir's refugees. Uh, let's see. This guy is also kind of uh, trapped between wind blasts and a hard place. And also burning buildings. So he's not going anywhere. And that leaves all of those ones. Now leaves these ones. Uh, this guy. Moves out here. This guy will take a step up. 9 damage, minus 5. He attacks a guard. Uh, this guy is actually going to go ahead and treat in this direction and join the fray. This guy is also going to retreat in this direction as per orders. Uh, this guy is adjacent to Bruce, so he's going to try to hurt Bruce. Uh, Bruce, you don't have to worry, he misses terribly. Uh, and that leaves this guy, who's going to do 9 damage to this group. 9 minus 3, 6. A second group of refugees in front of Gerhard bites the dust. Oh. Now we go on to Falandir himself. All of his refugees gone. So he's going to go ahead and take the lead once I move him up a layer. There we go. He moves up here. And now he will strike. I have to actually pull up his sheet now. Uh, to do his average damage would be something like... Uh, 5 minus... 5 plus 2, 7. Uh, how does a rapier work? Fast? Alright, if he was parrying. Okay, so he's going to do 7 damage to this guy right here. To the guy below him. 
And with Gerhard's help, we'll go ahead and penetrate through some of their scales with his rapier. So he does That's some sexual. It totally is. He does it with like a laughing, giggling, elven maniacalness. You. Yeah. All right. Purple hands. There's wizards afoot. Oh, what is the nastiest thing the wizards can do? Shit in their own hand and throw it at you. <laughs> yes, exactly. No. Yes, absolutely. No. Um, that one's hard for them. So one of them is going to go ahead and... Uh, well, they're each going to copy each other, honestly. So what, channeling... what a bunch of poses. Hey, cool. One of them manages to succeed at channeling. Hey, as former male use. models, they are posers. <laughs> hey. Do magic? And they do have demon blood. <clears throat> oh, this poor guy, he fails. Well, his friend has a, another chance to cast the spell. He doesn't channel. Let's see if they can manage success. No channeling success. They have an ingredient. Come on, baby. And he curses. Oh. No, not smiling. the grass. <laughs> Randomly success item you held or carrying flies <laughs> 1d10 yards in a random direction, thrown invisibly. All right. One of these guys has their... Uh, <clears throat> Weapon thrown all the way across the yard. So, unfortunately for either of them, they are not master wizards. Yeah. Very mm. unfortunate. Very. Alright, we come up to the top with Victor, who's going to go ahead and aim an 8 damage blow at some of the uh, individuals in front of Alexa. So a hail of rocks is going to descend upon the mob, dealing three damage. Bruce. Oh, sorry. Once again, I forgot I was Bruce. That's fair enough. Bruce. I was going to say Theodonix. Uh, All out. Bruce Clancy. <laughs> right. That's a hit. How about some damage? And which one are you going for, north or south? Wide. 14. Minus 3 is 11. That guy explodes. The entire crowd going down in a flurry of punches. Uh, and that was an all-out attack to increase your ability to hit, you said. No, I'm sorry. I meant the one that lets me attack twice because I have the. Okay, the swift attack. So you get to there attack again, and there is another target directly behind you. Oh, I already missed. Oh, you already missed. Well, that's a shame, but that's just the way it goes. All right, so Bruce is doing his job, and his minions will go ahead and do an eight damage hit. Minus five. So they deal a little damage to the people buffeted around inside there. And these guys are going to go ahead and move to the front. This guy moves up here to defend you, Bruce. Meanwhile, fighting occurs deep inside. Nine damage hits. Shit, they're already inside. Damn. Damn. And you, you're going to do a nine damage hit. And that guy's going to go down, too. All right, the sound of fighting continues in the courtyard. Alexa. I have an attack. Since I have an extra buddy to help me. Bring him down. Come on. No whammies. Yeah. Now, no don't whammies. go minimum. 13 damage. 13 to the one directly in front of you, correct? Uh, dude, that is actually enough to bring him to zero and kill him. Yeah. You break the... You charge straight in with your axe, swinging it wildly, and cutting the mob into two distinct groups. Ah. All right. Guess they don't have a leg left to stand. Uh. ba da ba ba da ba <laughs> right. The refugees will, uh... 
help fill the gap that you just made, then. And they will attack the uh, scale mutant directly in front of them. They each have a damage 7 attack, and they are reduced by a bit of armor. But working together, they will do enough to go ahead and take it down. Ah. Wing to Sars arrived. Down they turned the tide. All right. Down. Yeah. Okay, hard. Swift attack on this one here. Let's settle on this one. All right. Brutalize it. You also have a plus 20 because you have two friends here. I didn't mean to click that twice. That's okay. Go ahead and roll, hold a hit again if you if you really want. All right. Remember, I haven't added um, the damage yet, so that's either five, eleven six, or twelve. Eight. Uh, that is definitely going to kill this guy. All right. So, so you cleave through the line. All right. Since I started the round of the swift attack, I can't go anywhere. I don't think so. so. All right, and that leaves your refugee to try to plug the gap and attack forward. They're going to do seven damage subtracted by three. So that is actually four and enough to take down this group as well as men penetrated. The front line moves, the refugees, they're winning. Horrors. All right, here's their last chance to be so damn cool, I think. Confetti. Or pop into confetti, yes. Yeah. Because it's festive. They have two magic. They don't have channeling. Actually, do they have channeling? They totally have channeling. I'm rolling the channel. All right. So as a group collectively, they are casting. <laughs> they have channeling. There's no ingredients. Yep. Sorry. Ah, ha, ha, wow, ha, wow, ha. wow, wow, wow. Poor, poor demons. Well, you know, they gave it their best. You try your best and you can't succeed. Back to the shadow! Uh, so this one is going to go ahead and move here. Uh, and the other one is going to go ahead and move in. Move you to the front so I can keep you tracked. Is gonna go ahead and move up here. No. Oh, no. Never mind. He's gonna stay back here. I see a gnome. 